G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Ninja Lab here on day one at All Energy with Ash from Doye. Now, Doye is a brand that's known around the world, sometimes under other brand names as well, but it's renowned for its hybrid solutions, but you've got way more than that. So we're gonna cover a whole range of the solutions that you offer, including the most exciting one for me, the all-in-one. So let's start with the old school. What's behind us here? So behind you right there is the, do I hold it? Behind you right there is the um, hybrid system that you've known. And what you see here is pretty much our smart load integration. This is the new set of products that we'll be bringing into the market. So as you can see there, we've got the EV charger, we've got a, a contactor switch, and then we've got um, power points, all controlled through the inverter, right? So that's the difference. Now the inverters have an inbuilt gateway that allows the product to integrate with them without a separate gateway doing all the work. So you can control all of them through the inverter. And, um, and the best part is they can all be wireless as well. So we've just re we'll be releasing the wireless uh, dongles for these um, um, inverters. And the one plugged in there is the wireless module. It uses a protocol to called LoRaWAN and that communicates up to 200 meters with any device wirelessly uh, without needing for a physical cable run. So you mentioned, you mentioned controlling loads. So the inverter has a built-in EMS that can communicate using long-range wireless, LoRaWAN, yeah. to control what sort of loads? So you can control an EV charger, you can control a, um, a power point, so you can pretty much set your phone to charge through this particular power point, and you can set it to charge at a set time of use. And then you can also control your smart meter. So your smart meter can communicate wirelessly with the inverter and send the data through. Very useful when you have, when you're proposing solar systems for bigger farms with, with a long cable run that's needed for, for scenarios like that. So I think it's very interesting. Um, most of the systems around here focus on the, the, the generation and storage capacities, but you're actually talking about controlling loads, which is in many sense, anyways, kind of the ultimate solution. You know, it's better not to use power when you don't need it. So I think that's very clever. And having something like LoRaWAN as a communication uh, strategy, yeah. it means there's no cables. Correct. And it's not relying on the customer's Wi-Fi. That's right. So it's all within the product. Ah, that's really cool. Now, uh, I was very excited to see the all-in-one solution, which we'll, we'll have a look at in a second, but uh, tell me the numbers. What is the storage capacity and the rating of the inverter? So, um, with the all-in-one, we can have up to six batteries in a stack, and each battery is about is 5.12 kilowatt hours. So six batteries equates to around 30 kilowatt hours, and you can have up to six batteries in parallel connected to uh, an inverter, right? So that brings up the total capacity to 180 kilowatt hours. Now, with the inverter range, we have the single phase and the three phase that we've got approval for. In the single phase range, we've got approval for 3.6 all the way up to eight kilowatts. And in the three phase, we've got approval from five all the way up to 12. So you've got a lot of flexibility there and a lot of um, um, uh, ability to do full off-grid with, with all DIA products. And the all-in-one is not uh, an exception. Right. So the all-in-one uh, can be used as a hybrid solution, like on-grid, but it can be used off-grid as well. Correct. What, are, what about generators? Can you integrate a generator with it? You can integrate a generator. So it's we call it a six-in-one solution. One of the features is the generator, the smart load integ integrity, which means you can connect a diesel generator to it, and also you can connect smart loads to it. And um, uh, the uh, change over time from the grid to off grid is four milliseconds. Four. Yes. It's incredibly fast. Yeah. So st stackability is the other thing, which is across the entire product range, and the the most sellable feature, which which um, sets it apart from the rest of the product, is the inbuilt gateway, which we've seen across pretty much all DIA hybrid systems. So maybe explain to the audience what is a gateway and why having it inbuilt is an advantage. So a gateway, if we want to choose a product to explain it, a Tesla gateway is, is an example, right? If you want to um, do full home backup and keep it compliant to the local standards, you need to make sure during a blackout there is no power going back to your grid. And traditionally, manufacturers use a gateway to prevent that power going into the grid. But in our case, we've used a gateway, we've inbuilt that, that, that smart device into the unit Therefore, you don't need a separate gateway installed somewhere else, reducing the amount of space, 
all done through the one unit and uh, that's what makes it pretty easy and seamless. So if there is a grid failure yes. uh, with the stackable all-in-one solution, uh, will it back up the whole home? Yes, but it also depends on the uh, number of inverters you choose. Uh, so obviously you need to be considerate, considerate about the, uh, what the customer's usage is and how much he needs during full off-grid uh, solution. And based on that, you can offer the solution. So if you had the 8 kilowatt single phase unit, but actually your home uh, for a whole home backup needed a bit more, can you parallel multiple inverters to get more backup? Correct. So with our single phase hybrid uh, range, we can have up to 16 inverters in parallel. And with our three phase range, we can have up to 10 inverters in parallel. Hey, hey, hey. So you can parallel the backup ports. That's pretty impressive. Uh, you, 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 yes, you, you can have 16 inverters operating simultaneously yep. and you can get backup from all of them, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that gives you a lot of power to back up your home. Apologies for the fly. I didn't bring it. But yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, of all the places, in the middle of a conference, there's one fly and it likes us. Yeah, it's Australia. Welcome to Australia, everyone. Uh, fortunately, there's no snakes and no uh, goannas and no, no, spiders. no spiders. But yeah, they'll, they'll come next. Okay, so uh, that's the hybrid solution, the all-in-one. Uh, what about C&I? Do you have some C&I solutions as well you can tell us about? Yes. So... Um, Right over there on your right is the Boss G Pro batteries. They're all rated at 5.12 kilowatt hours and they are stackable up to 12 in a rack and you can have up to um, 16 racks. That brings the total storage capacity to a little less than a megawatt hour. And those all made to a, a three-phase hybrid inverter, which is the 80 kilowatt. It's still under CEC's approval, but we should have it ready probably in the next couple of months. And uh, same solution, we can have up to 16 inverters operate in parallel and you can have the storage, you've got the option to be flexible as you can. Right, so I'm getting a picture here that modularity is one of your solutions. You can, having 16 inverters in parallel, so you've got like one that's the controller and, yeah. the, fol and the other 15 follow. Right. So you can actually expand a system after you've built it, uh, you discover it, you need a bit more capacity. That's right. Um, with a lot of the manufacturers, what we see is this feature is a um, under development work in progress. But um, with us, it was already ready when we entered the market, and and we that's that's one of our most defining features as well for the products. Cool. Now, do you have something bigger than the uh, CNI unit here? Do you go into utility scale as well? Not yet. Um, at this stage, not yet. But we do we we do have a 300 kilowatt inverter that we're thinking of bringing into the market. Paperwork's being done, so hopefully when we go into CEC, that'll be a huge announcement to make. Cool. Now, we've been talking about the inverter range, but what about batteries? Does Doye make any batteries? Yes, Deer make their own batteries. So we've got, um, for the residential range, we've got the 5.12 uh, kilowatt batteries. They're all low voltage. And then uh, we've got the 10.2s as well, which is a Walmart battery, and they're low voltage too. Uh, when we go to the CNI, we make the same batteries with the same usable capacity, which is 5.12, but they're high voltage. That's the only difference. Um, and, and, and then we have the 6.1 kilowatt hour batteries as well, which is the RFW 6.1, but we don't have it on display at the moment. So those are the three main batteries we manufacture. Thanks very much, Ash. No problem. Thank you, Glenn. Cool.